Y'all been starving all day. And y'all got this lazy f sitting here drinking a Chick-fil-A shake. It's not looking good, Bev. It's not looking good. Get up and cook something. What I'm are you doing? I'm not cooking nothing for you. Why Go you cook something. See, this is why I'm not marrying you. You shall not pass. Because you're sitting down all day. Go cook something. Do something. This is exactly why I'm not marrying you. What? You got the lights off. This is bullshit. Turn the lights on. How you mad? Because I want to relax. Look at this. Why do I got to cook for you? Who do you think I am? You just don't get it, do you? You don't. I'm not marrying you. I hope you know that. It's over with. Adults move on, and that's what I'm doing right now. I'm moving on. You have chosen wisely. So been a deadly test. <sighs> Boy, that escalated quickly. Hey, dog. <laughs> Got it. Uh, hey, this is um Libby, Kyle's girlfriend. What's up? Um, Kyle said he was with you, and I was just wondering if that was true. Yeah, Kyle's always with me. Oh, okay. Um, can I oh. talk to him? Yeah, here you go. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. You loyal. I have to ask you a question. I haven't said anything all class, but I'm really hurting. Can you help me? And I said, what's your problem? Class goes dead silent, because it's not going to be about business. And he said, today, my fiance came to me and said that I have to make a decision between our relationship and the business. This guy had, in his dorm room in undergrad engineering built an online cloud-based compliance tool for hedge funds with under 250 million to help them reduce their cost as a subscription service. The guy had a run rate of five million dollars. He hadn't even graduated yet. And then he said, but I have no time. What's the answer? I said, everybody, let's be pragmatic. Which is easier to replace? Your business? Or your fiance. If you watch back that opening clip, you're gonna notice that she gets real quiet real quick the first time he says, that's why I'm not marrying you. And that's the problem with a lot of these women, you know, they, they act like everything's gonna change as soon as you give them that contract. As, you, as soon as you sign them, you're gonna see what they can do. But that's like, a basketball player playing in his backyard his entire life, nobody seeing him, and then going to an NBA team and saying, I'm gonna show you what I can do as soon as you give me that $100 million contract. That's when I'm gonna show you what I can do. Don't be fooled by the bullshit, gentlemen. Like, I hope you're enjoying the video so far. It's Friday, finish the week strong. Let's get back into this video. Welcome to Mankind. Hey, what you doing? I'm working the corner. I got $5 right now, what'd that get me? A high five. Oh my if you talk to other girls, I'm not gonna find I out. I don't talk to yeah, other girls. I don't even look at any girls, okay? I'm all faithful. Come on, baby. Come on, man. Stop. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Come on, clean, clean, you girls. Stop it. <laughs> Badass or good personality? Uh, it depends. What are we looking for? You're looking for a wife. Fat ass, 100%. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's right. Her personality is like, you know, because they say personality fades. No, it makes me look stupid. Oh, shit. Sorry. <laughs> No, no, that's what I'm saying. They, yeah, no. Looks uh, fade. Look, sorry. Looks fade. Personality stays. Bingo. Yahtzee. Is that your final answer? Anthony! What? Ah! Anthony, why would you do that? I don't want peace. I want problems, always. Men need women, not the other way around. You need us to have gas for your car, to have a working plumbing system, to have electricity in your house, to have your packages delivered, to have fresh produce in the supermarkets, to have your streets be safe and clean. Would you look at that? Actually, it turns out y'all need men, not the other way around. Damn.
pissed off. Now we've talked about this before. It does come up a lot in this space, but if we have to have this argument, if we have to put numbers to it, we can do that. We can prove this with numbers. So look, let's, let's take the top dominated fields in both male and female, okay? It doesn't matter what the jobs are right, jobs are right now. Let's just take the top three. The top three female dominated jobs are at 98.8%, 95.9%, and 94.8%. And then if you go over to the male dominated jobs, you have 99.7%, 99.2%, and 99.2%. So what does that tell us? It tells us that in the top dominated fields of both, both genders, there are more males in the female jobs than there are females in the male jobs. And so what does that tell us? It tells us that if either men or women were to disappear tomorrow, that technically men would need women less by about 4% according to these numbers. So as if we fucking needed any, that's proof that women need men more. I mean, who the fuck are they gonna get to do their plastic surgery anyway? You know, I, I do go to a plastic surgeon. Do you? Mm-hmm. What do you get done? Um, I've had lip filler, but I'm not one of those crazy um, influencers who goes psychopath and overfills your lips like way too big. But I've done a little bit. Have you ever um, like asked if they could put a personality in? That one there was a violation. <laughs> Listen, I'm just kidding. Uh, so lip filler. So how does lip filler work? Explain. He called. I feel good. Na, 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 na. Like I know it would. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, what's up, hey, man? Why are you so happy back there when I'm taking you to jail? Hey, man, I'm so happy, boy. When you're taking me, I got 24 hours away from my wife, man. <laughs> That's a W. That's E1. That's E1. That's a W. If I meet you and I got $5 million and we break up and I got $75 million, I owe you $37. But if I meet you and I got $5 million and I break up with you and I still got $5 million, I owe you shit. <laughs> we didn't prosper. That's not ridiculous. That's not ridiculous to say that. I like the way you put this here, using the word prosper, because he's right. You know, a good woman, the things that she does, will help you prosper. We all know this and, and that shit is appreciated, but a bad woman can keep you from your potential and she don't deserve shit. And, th and that's why I think he's onto something here because the way this shit is set up, it's a relic of a time gone by when women couldn't work. But now you got these independent women who can do anything a man can do, but they sure as shit aren't crying feminism when they're taking half a guy's money. And nobody wants to listen to the fact that feminism and the independent woman movement are contributing to the downfall of the traditional family unit. And not only that, but the way this shit is set up makes it so much more tempting for a woman to want to get that divorce. And that's echoed by the fact that 70% of divorces are initiated by women. So, like I said, I think he's on to something here. But I that's really don't boy. understand how a single mom with a one income household is supposed to survive right now. I don't understand why all these average men are out here single when they could be coupled up helping you pay the bills, but they weren't good enough, were they? <laughs> I bet they are now. <laughs> Line. Ask the ladies to rate themselves on the scale of 1 to 10. I'm at a 10 out of 10. Huh? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 heavyweight champion? <laughs> hung, 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 hung. Because I'm only taking headshots like fat girls and dating apps. Keep cold. Yup! I'd rather pay a pro to so she leaves when we're done. Rather than sit here and put a bunch of money into a chick and then taking her out for nice dinners, buying her shit, and you get the same result in the end anyway. She's still paying for I mean, you're not wrong, <laughs> but you didn't have to say it. I mean, good <laughs> lord. Tell your mother-in-law to shut up. Be a man. You don't have to take shit from anyone. <laughs> wow. So what's it arcing to? Why is it not, why is it not coming back to ground? So that's the primary, that's the, uh, the coil. No, you do not have air cooling on that. It's water cooled? Oh, dude. One more time, please. <laughs> okay, okay, okay.
It's science. Bro made a back-mounted handheld Tesla death ray in his fucking garage. <laughs> but whatever makes you happy, right? <laughs> happily ever after to the end of his days it's friday folks so please take some time to relax this weekend if you get a chance uh, if you enjoyed the video please take a moment to like comment subscribe ring the bell as you know it all helps it's super fucking easy i do appreciate you taking the time thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one Figured out, made some mistakes. Life goes on. Let me figure out life from this point. I'm a life goes on type of guy.